Thanks, Magnus. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's start from the end. Yeah. Your latest musical production, Parachute. Uh, which kind of step is this album in your career, Magnus? Which step? Which kind of step is it? I don't know. It's uh, it's uh, it's like the third uh, piece of this this three album I, I've made so far. Because when I when I started out to, to think about doing music again, I. Uh, I was starting to think about to make three albums to make to make to to see how the project will work and, mm -hmm. and so this is kind of the conclusion that the last album of those three and, uh, yeah. and then we'll see what's happening in the future but this is how, how far I have been thinking <laughs> so yeah. this is the last step on this future. Uh, critics are often quoting the fact that you are bringing inside the jazzy spirit of your composition several elements like rock, progress Aggressive, uh, dance groove even and others at the end yes. contemporary jazz uh, and your music in it uh, is a kaleidoscope of fast-moving hybrids and uh, do you recognize your music in this stream uh, I don't know you know my music is a mix of whatever I, everything I've heard so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say really to that question. No. It's, uh, but this right inside the stream that is contemporary jazz, let's say also. I think it's, I think it's one leg in, in the yeah. contemporary jazz and one leg maybe in, you know, the more rock style or something. I don't know, it's a, it's a mix, very, mm -hmm. very much a mix of it, with a lot of stuff. And like, still moving. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, talking about your musical education and career, which are the influences that you feel stronger in you now, or possibly guidelines of your musical explorations? Uh, I know, you know, it's when I was a kid, when I was like 13, 14, I, I discovered Billy Coburn. And uh, so somehow I think n now when I'm writing my own music, somehow this jazz rock years when I was listening a lot to that chimes through. So I have to I have to mention him and I have to mention you know in the jazz field so there's so many great play, players and, and the influences. But I, I try to stay focused on my own thing now and of course you hear hear stuff but I'm not that actively listen that much to music. I'm concentrating to on my own thing and, and try to find a way for that. Yeah. And uh, the band of your three solo albums yeah. is strong and solid uh, and a long-term collaboration. Uh, which are the main characteristics of this band according to your experience? Um, the guys that have been with me, it's, for, for me it's, it's, uh, it's very important to have guys that's kind of open-minded, that, that have played different kind of music and for instance, Andreas Verdak is a guitar player. He used to be a, a huge Metallica fan, and so you have that in the bottom. But then you have jazz playing, and the, Donald Carlson, the piano player, is maybe more in the jazzy style, and, and Tobias Bester is a, a funk guy, you can say. So that mix is very good for me. That, yeah. You know, it's it's very open. You know, you can go wherever. So. Yeah, yeah. And the Scandinavian musical scene is sometimes astonishing. Uh, for strength and creativity. For you, which are the components for this result? <laughs> Very long winters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why not? <laughs> I don't know. It's. I think so it has something to do where you come from, the environmental, you know. And in a way, that could be one thing, actually, you know. We, yeah. In nature, but of course we, we live in cities as well. We're not living in the forest, but <laughs> I don't know. Somehow the mentality—it's kind of a quiet country. People talk, but not that much. You know, it's kind of maybe listen. Yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> hopefully. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somehow we can consider your music one of the possible directions of your 
previous experience, the EST. And uh, from your current perspective, have you ever thought which has been the ingredient of a so successful experience, the EST? The great success of EXT. Yeah. Which reasons, in your opinion? Why it happened? To, yeah. I think it was a very fortunate collaboration. Esper and I grew up together, you know, learned how to play together. So we had kind of a very close relationship musically wise, you know. We kind of thought in a little bit the same directions and have some kind of telepathic thing. Mm. And then Don had his uh, strong uh, energy and I think everyone had a lot of energy actually. Mm -hmm. and somehow that some of that energy went, went bigger than the three of us, mm -hmm. you could say. So, and also it's a lot of different things. You, of course you, have, you need to have good compositions, you know, good music, but then you have to be uh, have, have a strong thinking of what, where you want to go, and, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of components, you say. Uh, Magnus Ostrom Band is a band whose sound is based on your compositions. He, it is less common, as you know, to have a drummer yeah. as a main yeah. author of the pieces. How is your compositional process? How do you balance the different contributions? Yeah. Um, I compose on piano. I'm not a very good piano player, but I, I can, can play a little bit and, and I found out, find out patterns and then I maybe record that and then I go by, by the drums and suddenly I'm in the drummer in the band starting to think what does, does the composer want from me <laughs> <laughs> or the composition and then maybe I put on the drums and then I go back to the piano and put on the melody. Yep. That's some, sometimes that's the, the scenario. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a, comp a song just appears from I don't know where, but I used to say it's like sometimes picking up a fish from a, from a small creek <laughs> passing by. You just take the whole song up and you have the song. It's very <laughs> mysterious, but it's amazing when it, when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good luck. Good oh. luck, Magnus. And thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.